Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video I'm going to be reviewing this solar light right here. I've had it for a number of months and I wanted to wait to really see how it performed, especially wait into the cold parts of the year because that's when these things always tend to fail is when things get cold. So we're going to talk about this today. We're going to compare it to another type of solar light that I've also used for several years. But what we're going to do is not do it right here because it is pretty cold. We're going to go inside and we're going to talk about them. So let's go. Okay, this is a little bit more comfortable in here because it is getting pretty cold outside and that really plays into one of the Achilles heels of a lot of uh, solar lights which is you know what happens when they're outside and it starts getting cold and we're going to talk about that in a little bit but first I want to talk generally about some of the benefits of all solar lights. Now uh, no matter what kind of solar light you have they have a couple uh, different attributes that can be pretty cool like one is they don't need to be connected to the grid obviously because they're getting their power from the sun so if the grid goes down there's a blackout or whatever those lights are still functioning and they may serve a safety purpose if you have steps out, uh, outside and you want to make sure that you have some illumination on those steps you know that's a benefit also you know if you live in a place like i do and you've got a lot of woods around you let's say you go off into the woods at nighttime, having a light on your house that's always on, uh, you, you know, even if the, the grid has gone down, that's kind of a nice kind of safety thing. You can always find your way home. Uh, I guess uh, on the other side, if you had a without rule of law situation, like we sometimes talk about on this channel, uh, it might uh, also kind of guide in other people. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. And specifically the light that I'm talking about in this video, the one that I showed at the beginning, uh, it has kind of a neat feature on it specifically uh, that would be a benefit during a without rule of law situation. We'll talk about that uh, in just a bit. Another benefit of all solar lights, though, before we get into the specifics of that one, uh, is that uh, you don't have to run power to them. And that's kind of nice. Uh, as long as they're getting sun, you don't have to run wires to them. Uh, I've built a lot of structures and, you know, running wires, it's a thing, you know, and sometimes it's a pain in the butt. If you're adding a light to a pre-existing structure, it may be difficult to run the wires through a wall out there, uh, you know, or you may have to do wires underground, or you have to may, uh, maybe run the wires across the surface of the wall, you'd have to put them into conduit. That takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, you know, it takes a lot of uh, expense, you know, buying conduit and wires and uh, junction boxes and all that kind of stuff. It can be kind of a pain in the butt and, you know, it can cost a lot more money and it's a lot easier to just take a screw gun and put a solar light on the wall and, you know, you're done. So there are a lot of benefits to whatever types of solar lights you have, uh, but, you know, once you get into the individual uh, different types of solar lights, there are a lot of different features. Now here's a solar light that I've had for many years. Uh, uh, this is kind of like the one I started off with. It's a pretty common design. It's got a solar panel on the top. There are some LED lights down here, and there's a motion sensor on it. And a motion sensor is kind of a neat feature on a solar light because uh, when they charge up the battery during the day, you know, there's only so much life in that battery, and it's kind of nice to make it so that it only goes on when you need it, when you're actually moving through the space. So that's kind of a neat feature on, on this particular solar light. Not all, all solar lights do that, but th 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 that works pretty neat uh, for this. Of course, it doesn't help you if you're off in the woods looking to find your house unless you have you've told someone ahead of time to like just stand in front of the light and wave back and forth to make sure it stays on so I can find my way back you know um, you know it has pros and cons to that but I, I kind of like that feature in general uh, but one uh, problem that you find with a lot of solar lights comes down to that idea of like how much uh, energy can you store in them you know because they're storing up energy during the day and then the idea is that they're going to be releasing it when you need it uh, later on at night now this uh, this solar light, I opened up the back of it right here, and uh, this one has uh, this kind of battery right here. And when I say this kind of battery, I'm saying that because I don't, I don't honestly know exactly what this is. I think this might be one of those 18650 batteries. They're commonly used for people who do like vaping. Uh, they're uh, I, I'm, I'm really not sure what this is. Uh, I, I think maybe if I, I, if I were to cut back this uh, plastic sheathing, there might be some identifying markings on here, um, but. Uh, this kind of gets at one of the problems with uh, certain types of solar lights is, is the battery. Because batteries in general, whether you're talking about a solar light or you're talking about a laptop computer or you're talking about an electric vehicle, batteries have a life and at some point they finish that life and they're done. 
And that's really important to consider. Like on, on this solar light, this one's good in that at least the battery is, is not like uh, soldered right onto the circuit board. This is kind of out here and I can replace this if I want to. Now that said, the way that it is connected, and I'll just show you right here, is it's got these little solder points on the end, so I'm gonna have to kind of remove those. And you know, if I can find out what this battery is, I could you know, get a new one and I kind of like solder the connections onto the ends and everything. But however you cut it, this wasn't made to be particularly easy to swap out the battery, which is a shame because like I said, the batteries always eventually die. It's just, you know, people have not invented a battery that you know, doesn't have a life, or at least a chemical battery that doesn't have a life and eventually isn't going to die. So while this one's nice that it gives you the option to at least go through the pain in the butt of swapping the battery, they didn't make it easy for you. Now it's better than a lot of other devices that make it so you can't swap out the battery at all. Uh, so that's a step up from there, but they certainly didn't make it easy. This is the top of the light that I, would, I just had outside that I was standing next to, the one that's attached to my house. And this one does make it easy for you, and I really appreciate that. Uh, the way that you uh, get to the, the inside of this is you just take this uh, right off the top of the cone. Uh, this is where all the, uh, the guts of it are. Everything below this point is just a little white diffusing cone for diffusing the light and what attaches it to the wall. The entire uh, solar light, the brains and everything, it's all right up in here. So you just lift it right out of there and uh, you know it's easy to work on it. Now you get the solar panels up here, you get the LED lights down here, and if you want to replace the battery, this one just uses a regular old AAA battery. And I really, really, really like that. Now this one over here, let's say this is one of those 18650 batteries. I can get a replacement for that if I figure out that that's what it is. But you know, you can't you can't just go into any like, you know, gas station uh, well, I don't know, maybe you can with people getting addicted to vaping now. But certainly it's a heck of a lot easier to come across uh, AAA batteries, which is what is uh, inside this guy, than it is to get those 18650 batteries. So I like that that it's it's an easy to source part and if there's like a supply chain issue or whatever, you know, these are a lot more common than whatever the hell that thing is. So I really appreciate that this, uh, that this solar light was made to use these. Now, do they have the runtime that the bigger batteries uh, have? No, they don't. Uh, you know, that's one downside to it. But, you know, I think it really is nice that you have something that's easy to replace it at the end of life because you know ultimately that is what's going to happen. And if you buy a solar light that is difficult or impossible, some of them are even impossible to change the batteries out, if you buy one of those solar lights and you just can't get a new battery, when the battery dies, you're not just losing the battery, you're losing the LED lights, you're losing all the circuitry, you're losing the solar panels that are attached to it. And it's a, it's a, it's a in my opinion, kind of a, a big waste. I really like it when things are made so that when parts fail, especially the parts you know that are gonna eventually fail, uh, you know, you can replace them with other parts. So I really appreciate that. Now I mentioned that this thing had kind of a unique feature uh, related to without rule law situations. That's kind of, my, I know if I heard that, I'd be like, what the hell kind of feature does this solar light have that, uh, you know, where that applies? Well, um, it applies to the, what I mentioned about having the light be on all the time. Uh, also on the bottom of this one, there's a little switch, and the switch uh, has three positions. One is for a warm color temperature light. Uh, warm color temperature is like a lower color temperature, like it's more like candlelight, so it's like orangey. Uh, one is for a cool color temperature. Uh, it's a higher color temperature, uh, which is more bluish, more like daylight. And the other setting is off. And I really like that. If I ever wanted to make it so that the lights of my house were off, I, I don't know what the circumstances might be. You know, maybe the world gets invaded by aliens and they target lights at night. You know, I have no idea, but I like having options. You know, I, I, I don't think that the alien one is necessarily the most likely, but whatever the circumstance uh, might be that comes up, like maybe it's Halloween and you just want to be like, I don't, I don't want any kids here. You know. It, it's nice to have options to be able to turn off your lights. And uh, this one is really easy to do. Uh, I, instead of having to like remove the entire solar light and unscrew them all off the front of the house, you just pop the top off, flip the switch, and then you can put it right back. It'll keep charging during the day, but it won't go on at night until you come back and you flip the switch. So I think it's kind of nice. Uh, in terms of the battery that comes with it, uh, it, we've had a uh, couple months of pretty decent cold here and it's still uh, working pretty well. Uh, the, the life at the end of the day for this thing uh, is three hours, maybe four hours, uh, you know, at the end of the day. It really depends on how much sun it got during the day. If you got a really nice strong day of sunlight, you're going to get a good three or four hours out of it. If it was a cloudy day, you know, you're not going to get much, but that's just the, the way it is with all solar lights. So for this particular model, I really like it. I'd really recommend it. Uh, these are also 
pretty nice. I like the motion sensing uh, uh, capability of them, but I don't like the fact that it's hard to change the batteries and this battery is dead. You know, I, I gotta throw this out and now I gotta figure out what to do with the rest of this. It's kind of a pain in the butt because, you know, now I'm committed that I either have to like say, well, I'm just gonna throw out all the solar panels and all the LEDs and everything, or go through the trouble of, you know, taking a knife and peeling all this stuff off and getting a new one. And it's just so much more convenient and easy when it's two screws, pop in a new one and you're done. So that's it. I hope you found this review helpful. I've got links to uh, both of these uh, lights down in the description below. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.